So you're working on your diet, right? And you're really trying to lose a few pounds. It's summertime and it's really gonna feel better if you get some of that puffy off, get some of that fluffy off. Have you ever been in ketosis? Do you know about ketosis? Are you eating a keto diet? Have you tried it? There's so many maybe misconceptions about ketosis, ketogenic diets, the right way to eat for fat loss. I wanna help clear a few things up. I'm taking a little break from sitting inside, working with clients, enjoying the outdoors, which is really, really a fun thing. Um, and I thought I'd sh shoot a little video on the magic of ketosis, a few ways to maybe cheat to get into ketosis with exogenous ketones. But first of all, what is ketosis? Ketosis is a state uh, at which the body uses fat for fuel instead of glucose. So you're eating your low carb diet and maybe the no carb diet, or you're really, really focusing on protein and fats. Okay, your body will use up the glucose, especially if you're exercising. Your muscles will need that glucose for fuel and it'll the body will turn to it when in a in a pinch i mean immediately your your body's looking for glucose it's the easiest fuel for it to burn okay so you've used up all your stored glucose maybe you've been fasting or maybe you've been just really really cutting carbohydrates first of all you're gonna feel a little bit of low energy um, you're gonna lose inflammation rapidly when you don't have glucose on board. Um, maybe you're peeing more, you needing more electrolytes, that kind of thing. But um, do you know if you're in ketosis? You'll know if you're in ketosis a few ways. First of all, you, could, you can test ketones with the Keto Mojo glucose monitor. You can prick your finger and you can learn if your body has any ketones circulating at all. It's a fantastic feeling. Usually you'll feel a little bit of focus. You'll have a little extra energy. You're gonna feel overall pretty clean. Your appetite will be reduced and you'll have a sense of satiety when you have ketones flowing in your bloodstream. That means that your body's been able to tap into stored fat and unlock that fuel source. So ketones are the body's preferred fuel source. It's really pretty great. But so many of my clients are so disappointed because they say nothing they can do gets them into ketosis. They're never registering ketones. So you might be getting discouraged. And you might wanna know the very fastest way to get into ketosis if you're not already able to get into ketosis. When you have extra fat to lose or you have serious inflammation or heavy metal toxins or some other type of metabolic disturbance, it's gonna take you longer to get into ketosis. When your body does use ketones for fuel, it's super neuroprotective. There's neuro repair. It's really good for your brain. Your GABA receptors, that kind of calm state, just kind of regulates. And ketones are super anti-inflammatory. So it makes sense if you're metabolically stable to enjoy a ongoing slight ketogenic state. I know for myself, I typically have trace ketones in my, my blood with the Keto Mojo. I do eat low carb. I, I am exercising. I know my body's pretty efficient in the fact that by being stable and eating low carb consistently, I stay in a mild state of ketosis, which feels nice. I do, however, recommend if you have low energy and you just have trouble sticking to your diet and you've never ever enjoyed nutritional ketosis, then maybe you wanna supplement with something called exogenous ketones. I've used exogenous ketones for years. Um, they started on the market about seven years ago and it was something that I was drawn to. It's a, it's a drink typically, usually it's a powder called beta-hydroxybutyrate. 
Now it comes in so many different forms and I'm gonna share a few forms with you just so you can maybe decide if it might be something you wanna try. The very first ketone product that I tried was a product called Prove It. It's got a very sweet flavor. They also typically are flavored with stevia and if your microbiome can handle that, it works well. Um, when you take an exogenous ketone supplement, your body in less than an hour will register ketones because you're basically drinking them and putting them in circulation for energy purposes. That says exogenous ketones are not going to magically make you lose fat. That's impossible. It will help you maybe curb your ap appetite, increase your energy so that you feel better while you're following a, a low carb or ketogenic diet, but it'll, it'll offer you kind of give the body a, a taste of ketones and maybe help you get into ketosis easier. Right now, my very favorite ketone supplement is something called Pucker Up. I know a lot of you like Dr. Boswell. Her channel is Dr. Boz and she has a stevia free liquid called pucker up and it is very sour i love it it has no stevia and you can add it to bubble water i actually add it to my electrolyte supplements and i use this in the morning when i'm fasted it doesn't impact my glucose so my my glucose levels are nice and, and steady and it does add ketones into my bloodstream and gives me a nice energy pickup okay there's some others dr boss also has a, a ketone powder this is flavored it's got stevia and it has the same beta hydroxybutyrate but it is it tastes different. It has a different fl flavor profile. It's very sweet. There's also the Prove It packets. Um, these have carbohydrates in them and that's fine depending, you know, if you're exercising. Depends on what your goal is. But um, typically you can sip on ketones. Technically it's breaking your fast, but I have never had any problem with clients not benefiting from exogenous ketones during a fast. If you're not one to enjoy sipping on something stevia sweetened or super sour, then you can take a tablet. There's ketone tablets. This is real ketones and you can find this on Amazon. You might want to try that if maybe in the afternoon you have an energy slump and you're curious about will a ketone supplement help add some energy. So the newest ketone supplement that I found is a little bit different and this one is Cognitive Switch. Now we know ketones are definitely going to be increasing our mental cognition. It gives you some focus and it really helps maybe curb your appetite. This one is a little bit different because it has cornstarch in it. The fiber is not digested, so you don't necessarily need to count the carbohydrates in a serving. But the cool thing about this one is it's tasteless. So it's not sour and it's not ridiculously sweet. You can add this into your coffee. You can add it into your tea. You can drink it in water. You can mix it into anything that you drink. You wanna drink it. Um, I'm impressed. I definitely registered with massive ketones when I, when I trialed it and it might be worth a try. The company is called Juvenescence. I will link it in the show notes with a 15% coupon. I'll also link my Dr. Boz Sour Pucker Up, my favorite, into the show notes. Maybe you decide you give it a try. If you've been struggling with energy and maybe you're looking for better focus, if you're looking for a way to stick to your diet and get into ketosis faster, this might be your ticket. Now, granted, it's not going to magically 
make the fat fall off. You have to do all the things, but it's a tool. Again, you need to be eating very low carb. You need to be, if you're still cycling as a perimenopausal woman, you don't wanna go super low carb all month long. You wanna cycle in and out. If you have adrenal issues, like you're exhausted, fibromyalgia, some of the other kind of more debilitating issues, then you're gonna to wanna to eat low carb, high protein, and moderate fat. I think that's probably my biggest beef with the ketogenic diet is it's too high in fat for many of us menopausal women. We are needing to kind of beware of how much we're eating, how much fuel. And if we're eating fatty coffees and too high in fat, well, that's a lot of fuel. So we have to just be cognizant to eat within our budget, like anything. That said, if you're low in energy and you feel like maybe you've got a little hunger that's happening late morning when you're trying to do an extended fast or you have a little bit of hunger late in the afternoon when you're kind of feeling exhausted and you don't have the energy to to continue you might really enjoy exogenous ketones it's a tool it's an option exogenous ketones can really help curb your appetite help you feel good while you're sticking to a clean diet and move the needle. It's so much more than just fat burning. It's feeling good and healing your metabolism. These tools really do make a difference. It could be the trick to help you get into ketosis and stay in, in, in ketosis. Exogenous ketones are also really, really good when you've blown your diet and when maybe you've been super off track and just can't seem to pull yourself together to get back on your diet. It really curbs cravings. By having the circulating ketones, they're exogenous. It's not like your body's tapping into stored fat for fuel. I mean, we're adding it in as a tool but it definitely helps curb the appetite. It gives you a pick-me-up. They're great for when you're hungover. I mean, I don't recommend that, but it happens. If you're not feeling well, like you have a virus and it just lifts the mood and it, it offers an extra energy source that is different than eating. So that's another way to utilize beta-hydroxybutyrate by way of exogenous ketone supplements. Another thing about exogenous ketones is they're super, super powerful for early dementia. I mean, I can't state any medical claims, but I do have clients with partners that are suffering with cognitive decline. Using beta-hydroxybutyrate in addition to things like essential amino acids are very, very helpful to fuel the brain in a way that is second to none. Your brain needs fuel. And a lot of times when we get a little bit compromised, we're not eating properly. There's a lot of reasons for that. Adding in beta-hydroxybutyrate by way of exogenous ketones is a wonderful way to improve cognition. And let me tell you, when you see your loved one perk up and become focused and more reasonable, that's a definite reason to give it a try. What if you could get into ketosis? What if you could be successful at long-term fat loss? I know you can do it. If you've tried these, leave a comment. You still need to do all the things. You still need to eat right. You still need to exercise. You still need to hydrate. You still need to get a good night's sleep. In fact, these could really improve your sleep. If you don't know if you've ever been into ketosis, maybe consider buying a Keto Mojo. 
I've got a link down in the description box as well. Ketone glucose monitor that uses test strips. You prick your finger, little teeny bit of blood goes onto the test strip and it measures your glucose and your ketones. It's a wonderful tool. Alongside the exogenous ketones, if you choose, to make fat loss easier, to make you feel more energetic, to give you maybe a sweet treat or a sour treat and offer up a healing opportunity. Offer up a way for you to stick to it and feel better. Maybe avoid that afternoon slump and reduce overall inflammation. I love them. I do use them every single day and I invite you to try it too. It's always fun to try something new. So come for the fat loss, stay for the longevity, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.